Thank you very much, Nancy, and thank you all for being here today. It's wonderful uh, to be with all of you um, and, and be here as your member of provincial parliament. I, I think it's really important uh, to recognize uh, Trillium Grants, and I'm joined by a Trillium board member, Elaine Shepard, who's here, who will say a few words, and thank you, uh, Mayor Cleveland, for being here, Councillor McCallum for being here as well. I very much appreciate that. Um, Cornerstone and the work that Nancy and the incredible team do is so important to our community. I think as society defines itself and how it looks after people in need and people in crisis. Nobody plans for it, and it uh, can happen at a moment's notice. I know from some of the conversations we've had about um, the clients and people you serve, and it's it's valuable. I've heard the powerful stories from the speakers at your luncheons on the role that you play in being there uh, when, when people truly need it. And that speaks slightly to the fund uh, that, that you have received, and I just wanted to briefly uh, speak a bit about the Trillium Fund, of course, is a, a granting agency, one of the largest, um, and Elaine will speak a little more to the important work that they do across our province. But during the COVID-19 pandemic, when uh, there was no playbook that we could go to uh, and, and pull it off the shelf, um, you know, chapter three, how to deal and work with community organizations, you were on the front line, you saw an increased need. Um, but revenue and the ability to fundraise and have our traditional luncheons that uh, drive a lot of revenue uh, just weren't there. And so I remember being at the cabinet table when, when we spoke uh, about uh, continuing and increasing funding to the Resilient Communities Fund, and it's designed to be uh, just that, to help communities remain resilient. This organization keeps a resilient uh, Northumberland and supports uh, a resilient community uh, right here. And the grant um, that, that I'm proud to highlight today uh, is a cumulative grant of two um, in the amount of just shy of $350,000, uh, $340,400 in grant funding from the Government of Ontario through the Resilient Communities Fund. So very exciting uh, that, that it's been here to support, but what does it do? It helps communities stay resilient. When we, as a cabinet, made the decision to put uh, money aside, it's helped uh, hundreds of organizations in the latest round in our region alone, $1.1 million has flown through to organizations helping them be resilient. Helping youth get out of the classroom and into the swimming pool at NORAC, for example, with the timing equipment. Keeping our youth engaged, physical and mental well-being, so important to our community. And this grant here, and you'll hear a bit more from Nancy on what it's touched, but helping uh, support frontline staff, helping support volunteer engagement, retention, uh, communications and awareness within the community is so, so critical. So this Resilient Communities Fund has helped our community stay resilient, has supported thousands of organizations, nonprofits across Ontario, and I'm proud that the funding is continuing to this day because while uh, we are through uh, the worst of the COVID-19 pandemic, the ripple effects, just like when you throw a pebble into the water, the ripple effects are still being felt. So it's important that we get these funds out to organizations like yours, um, in improving security systems, uh, adapting to new technology that COVID's thrown us all in. There's been significant cost of upgrades. So thank you, Nancy, to you and the staff uh, for the work that you do. Um, really the best of humanity in our in our community. So so thank you um, for, for everything. And I'm really honored to be here with Elaine and this one of the best granting agencies in the world, in Canada, and their history, which you'll hear from, been operating a long time. Um, we're very, very, very uh, fortunate in Ontario to have the Trillium Foundation. What I love is that the decisions are made by leaders in our community, like Elaine, who understand our community, understand its needs, and ensure that we're flowing dollars to organizations that make a difference. And you do just that. So thank you for having me here today. Honored to be here on behalf of the Government of Ontario and Premier Ford uh, to announce this funding. So thanks everyone very much. Uh, I, thank you for coming, and thank you to the Ontario government. Thank you to David Puccini, who's always been a strong supporter of the work we do here at Cornerstone. 
And thank you, uh, Ontario Trillium Foundation. We've had a number of Ontario Trillium Foundation grants over the years. Um, as we know, when COVID happened, there was absolutely no rule book. Our business continuity plan was, was thrown out the window. Um, and even in terms of previous pandemic planning, we, we couldn't have we couldn't have planned for this. So, you know, again, for us to survive, get through it, um, and thrive, I think, and be the resilient group that we are, we couldn't have done that without the Ontario Trillium Foundation. So we're really um, thankful. So I will just, um, I know Elaine talked a little bit about what we've used the grant for, but I just want to be specific and make sure that I capture all the pieces that we did do. So um, truly appreciative of the positive impact this found it, uh, the OTF grant has had, and we cannot overstate how uh, thankful we are. Continued education and advancement are crucial to the progress of the organization. With the assistance of the grant, we were able to prioritize training, which allowed us to better serve our community. In addition, Cornerstone was able to increase internal security by upgrading uh, our systems, which helps us safely advance in an increasingly technological world. Further additional funds from the OTF have made it possible for Cornerstone to hire its first ever manager of human resources. Thanks to the Resilient Communities Fund Grant, Cornerstone has been able to continue to improve how we provide services to our community. We are grateful to the Ontario Trillium Foundation Grant and appreciate uh, their ongoing support. And I thank you all for attending this event. Thank you. That's pretty impressive. <laughs>